Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another under five minute review of The Winner's Curse by Maria Stokey. So, I gave this book two or 2.5 stars on Goodreads, something like that. And so I don't know why I didn't like this book. It was recommended to me by someone whose reading taste I trust implicitly. Um, they have impeccable taste in books usually. Um, I'll leave the link to their blog down below. But yeah, so usually everything they recommend is great. And this time it was just a little bit short of the mark. It felt kind of predictable. So I'm just gonna real quick go into a plot summary. Kestrel is a general's daughter and she lives in this conquered piece of territory, um, the Herani Peninsula. And one day when she's walking in the market, she sees a slave uh, sale going on because the people who originally lived there have now been enslaved and are being sold to work in the houses of the conquerors. And so she sees a slave sale and is drawn to it and buys a slave. Um, and this is the other character that we get to see from the perspective of. His name is Arin, which by the way, I actually had to look up like the first, when I was writing this, I forgot what his name was and I had to like go through and like, wait, what was his name again? So yeah, um, Arin, who is a Harani slave. And more beyond that gets into spoilers, so I'm not gonna do that. But that's basically the plot. I'm gonna start with the good stuff. The world building was actually pretty awesome. Um, I liked that they threw in history about the Harani War, so it creates sort of backstory for this world. That was really interesting to watch. I liked the military strategy and stuff thrown in. That was really interesting. And I liked the um, bite and sting game that she plays. So the author added in this game into the book, which Kestrel is especially good at, and it's called Bite and Sting. It's like a strategy game. And I really liked the concept. I really liked that. It was pretty cool. And yeah, it had a really, really strong background and really strong writing. In theory, I should love this book, but two main points against it. First, the romance. I was not into it. This is a romance novel. Like, that's its purpose. And it just never resonated with me. Have you ever, like, read a book or watched a TV show in which you know that these two characters are the main pairing, but you actually just like, like it's an enemies to lover situation and you actually just like the person with whoever other random side character they're paired with and you want their like main love interest to just be your like snarky best friend. Because like, so I first noticed this in um, a TV show on Netflix called Good Morning Call. And it's like a strangers or like enemies to lovers situation. And I, I don't know, I sort of as, like really did not want the two main characters to get together. The same way I didn't want the main characters to get together. So I was just never sold on the main romance. Um, the second is the plot. While the concept was very interesting, it felt kind of predictable to me. Like I could, I saw the main twist before it happened. And I don't know, like it felt, I can't, though I can't specifically say another book that's exactly like it, it felt repetitive and like I'd seen it before. Maybe I've just read too much YA like fantasy recently, but all I could think about was like, oh, this is kind of boring as I went through it. And that's never really something you want in a novel. That's basically what put me off this book, though better readers and more Critical readers than me have loved this book. So I would definitely recommend checking out other reviews um, from people who liked it before you completely say no to this book. But in my personal opinion, for me, this book was not that great. Two out of five stars. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I will try and post more of these reviews if this is something that you guys like. Um, please let me know what your opinions on this book were. And um, let me know which book you want me to do next. My So-Called Bollywood Life by Nisha Sharma or um, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Thanks for watching. Bye.